here's another quick tip from Whole Latte Love. According to the Specialty Coffee Association, the proper temperature for most coffee brewing methods is 195 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit. So whether you're doing drip coffee, espresso, press, or pour over, that's a recommended range for brewing. And for our metric friends, that's about 92 to 96 degrees Celsius. Hey coffee lovers, Mark and Morgan here from WholeLatteLove.com. So if brewing at about 200 degrees, what temperature should you expect in your cup? We'll get to that in a sec, but if lattes are your thing, use the link right up here for our video on milk frothing temperatures. Yeah, check out that video. It turns out many may be making lattes way too hot. So Morgan, you know, a key thing to understand is that 200 degrees, that's the brew water when it makes contact with the coffee. Now, it's definitely going to be cooler in your cup, and it definitely should be. Right, so take a quality super automatic espresso machine, for instance. They brew at about 200 degrees, but as soon as brew water passes through the coffee, it cools. And by design, the cooling is part of the brewing process. You know, it's really impossible to taste subtle flavors in espresso if it's so hot it could burn you. For espresso, finished in cup temperature of a good shot is any range of 150 to 170 degrees. The sweet spot is between 155 and 165. Now, if you're brewing into a room temperature cup, you could easily lose 10 to 20 degrees versus the same shot pulled into a properly preheated cup. And that's why most machines have cup warming surfaces, and why good baristas and home brewers preheat cups using hot water out of their machines. For drip coffee and other larger volume prep methods, 175 degrees is where you want to be if you like a good hot cup. But it's not unusual at all to hear those into specialty coffee recommending cooler temperatures. Right, the feeling in specialty coffee is you'll be able to savor more subtle flavors at serving temperatures of 150 and below. And that makes a lot of sense. You know, it's kind of hard to roll it around the tongue and really taste it. If it's so hot, it might burn you. Right, but some like it hot. And if that's you, be sure to preheat both your cups and your brewing equipment. Yeah, that's part of the process and methods like pour over, but you can do it with things like a press pot and drip crafts as well. And the cups, they make a difference. Now, we love the dual wall glass cups. They keep things hot for a really long time. Especially if you preheat them. Really keeps it hot. I'm Morgan. And I'm Mark. We hope to see you back here soon for more on Everything Coffee. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy, free access to more videos on Everything Coffee brought to you by WholeLatteLove.com. Oh,